Welcome to Wing County, name for the Somerset Grand National. Three miles for your furlong, Andy Gap Chase. Nought to 120 and Sandgate Comebacks, James Shea, Ox Springs Winds, Winnie Gerard, Newey Classic, David Ladd, Philip Eagle, Mad Cooper, Chamberry Mulan, and called Jonathan Pilot Cherry, and Tupper's Boots for Pontypool. Just seven minutes in this race on good gr- on soft ground, good to soft ground here at Wing Canton. And it's their final meeting of the season, and they're off and running. And it's called Jonathan, just about the leader from Chambery Moulin. Tough as boots on the outside, on the inside is Philly Eagle. They're jumping up for the first fence, and the seven has safely jumped it well. So there's Northern 120 with the top weight on 120 for Sandgate. Come back to Jamie Shea. Timothy Jayard trained Hot Springs wins. It's just a one below it on 119. And then there's a gap to the rest. And we lost one there, and that one was New A Classic for David Lad. And it's called Jonathan. Two limbs clear of Phil Eagle in second. Chamberry Moulin in third, Ox Springs wins, Tupper's Boots, Sandgate comebacks, it's about marker. James Say who just missed out on the on the Midlands National. Hope to get compensation here in the Somerset National. You got Wing Canton, which is one of my local tracks. I've been there many times at Wing Canton. Considering I live a few miles down the road to Bath. And a few miles the other way to Salisbury, They're both flat tracks. And I've never been to Bath. Uh, I had gone to Salisbury in my youth, but I'm still living in Wales. But I haven't gone there since I lived near there. I'm not really into the flat scene. I prefer going to Wing Canton and watching the jump racing there. Although I haven't been for a few years due to my health and problems. But it's a lovely track, Wing Canton, and called Jonathan. Jumps an extra ditch. And there we lost. My interest in the race is gone. Tupper's boots. Wasn't so tough after all. And called Jonathan is about three to four limbs clear for the Eagle in second. Shamberry Moulin in third. Fourth place is uh, Offspring Winds, who jumped into third. And Sandgate comebacks is getting a bit detached from them at the moment but it's still well over two miles to run so plenty of time as they jump the ditch and they've all jumped it safely the five remaining of anyway so a long way to go so anything can happen call Jonathan two to three lengths clear Philly Eagle in second be impressed by Shambury Mulan who now goes second Hot Spring wins it could be a danger to all these as could the bat marker and get come back they seem to be the two horses that have some very good form in them and they won't be up at the top of the handicap otherwise well the other three I usually see them around and the chasing or some sometimes so they're taking on some big boys here the, the bottom three in the market that's called Jonathan Philly Eagle and Shambury Moulin. The other two have been in running much higher races than this, and them, I should say. And uh, called Jonathan, leads by a lamb still from Philly Eagle. Jumping this one, and jumping's all in the game, and that one at the back. Sandgate comebacks, he's, on, he's top way for some reason, but at the moment he seems to be struggling, yeah. They jump in the next, and that would be the final one next time round, I believe. And Cole Jonathan being pressed by Philly Eagle. Mark Cooper, who just had the win of the Winners National, trying to do the National Double on the same day. Different tracks. They're going to swing right handed pretty soon. Philly Eagle jumps the one past the post and they swing left and right down there and looks like Sang- something's going on with Sandgate he has been pulled up Sandgate comebacks pulled up they go towards the next 
a little bit called Jonathan so we're down to four on the inside of Philly Eagle Shambi Moulin back in first Alex Cherry has two bites at this cherry now sorry about that Alex and out swings Woods in sets fourth but you do have two bites of it and jump the next to ditch and it's called Jonathan by a neck from Philly Eagle five lengths back to Shambi Moulin and the three cuts of length on the outside Hot Spring Wings Wins, sorry we jumped down much slower than the other three but on the, but on the flat mix up the ground again Good Jonathan has gone on by a length and a bit now from Insect Principal Eagle to jump the ditch and made that two lengths has he gone for home you call Jonathan he's two lengths clear now of Philly Eagle but the track is just under that one and nudging second the other two are closing up Hot Spring Winds has gone third now, just ahead of Chambry Moulin. They come towards the next. This might be on the bend. And it's called Jonathan now, four limbs clear, but the other two are improving into centre with Chambry Moulin, the stable mate. And Hot Spring Springs Winds on the outside. Philly Eagle looks to be back pedalling. They jump in this one and then over they go. And Cole Jonathan is about three to four lengths clear from Shambury Moulin in second. Back in third, Hot Spring wins. And in fourth is Philly Eagle down the straight to come. And as they got these three fences in front of them now, Cole Jonathan's made all so far. It's still clear, four lengths clear. Hot Spring wins on the outside of in third, Shambury Moulin on the inside. But those two are both trying to close on the front running. Cole Jonathan jumped that one. And Philly Eagle still there. Very forced to last a chance, but he's struggling to get on terms. They go towards the second last now, and out towards the last they go. And as they do, so they come into Cole Jonathan, jumps it by a left from stable mate Shambi Moulin, who's trying to challenge back in for it. Ospings wins on the outside, trying to pick up up towards like Cole Jonathan is holding on by a free cut left. He's made all, and he's gonna win. And those on from stable mate Shambi Moulin in second off spring wings but only third and Philly Eagle completed for fourth so one two for H Cherry and call Jonathan the winner